Hey there everyone, this is Life. Welcome back to my Let's Play Veteran Odyssey. Uh hang on a sec. Okay! <laughs> hey there everyone, this is Life. Welcome back to my Let's uh, Let's Play Veteran Odyssey 2. Today we are going to continue exploration of the 21st floor. Now that that has been done, let us go over to the fifth stratum. Now, let's do some proper introductions to mechanics instead of last time's little fumbling. Welcome to the 21st floor, the first floor of the 5th stratum. It introduces you to one of the main gimmicks of the 5th stratum. And that's conveyor belt-like apparatuses that move you forward or backwards. Now, this one looks like it's going to move us either up or down. It's an optical illusion. You can view it either way. Believe it or not. So it's sometimes hard, kind of hard to tell which direction they want to take me. For me, it looks like it wants me to go forward, so it does go forward. Okay, so maybe it isn't an optical illusion, but it looks like it can be viewed as one, so... I guess I can see how that can get confusing. Looks like we're gonna start by going down this way. Typically, I start with the other side, but uh, it's just okay to deviate from normal standards, just because it's a natural analysis. Once you understand all the concepts, it doesn't really matter which direction you start to go. As long as you make sure it's everywhere. So this will take us back. And this is where why I'm marking arrows on these, is that unlike the ice tiles in the third stratum, which are very similar to these, this one can only take you a certain direction. So this one can only take me south. That's why I put a down arrow at the top of the conveyor. Uh, once we get into more complex conveyor belts that move sideways and turn sideways by themselves, not like this joint stuff that's happening over here. Then we're gonna start using paint like this. But for now, it's all straight lines, so... Yellow paint it is. Let's go down here. Now, as I said, optical illusion, kind of hard to tell which way these guys want to go. This one looks like it's pointing up and will take me up. And our other option, since the other one will just take us back to start, is this one, and this one looks like it's pointed towards me. Um, so let's see which one, which way this wants to go. Okay, so this way, we're not going. We're not going to be able to go this way. So let's go this way. Okay, first fight. Meet the yellow gel, and, or the gold gel, and the mandrake. The mandrake has an attack that will instantly kill anyone in the, like, pretty much everyone in the party. If you get so unlucky as to actually get it to scream in your face. And the gold gel is pretty res resilient to pretty much everything, and is a little bit hard to kill. So what do we do? What do we do? We're gonna... Viper Tornado the Mandrake. Should be enough to kill that. We're gonna Evil Eye and Fire Shots. See how that goes. Mandrake's dead. My characters are faster than Mandrake, makes them very easy to deal with if they're by themselves. Once the multiple start showing up, they can get come a real problem though. So Yes, we got a few items. Mandrake dropped gold gel and core cry root. I think the Mandrakes have a conditional. It completely escapes my mind what it is, so I'm gonna check real quick. Yes, Mandrakes do have a conditional, it's when you kill them with fire. That might be slightly difficult to pull off without him them getting a chance to instantly kill a bunch of team members, but we'll try it later. So, this might, one might go down even though it looks like it's facing me, so let's check it out. Nope, okay, so, we don't have any choice. We have to go west. From here we can go west, there's going to be two more conveyor belts, there's probably some shortcuts littering the, the southern wall. Won't check up too much into it. I'm going to... For methods of shortcut checking, I typically just look at the walls after I encounter a wall that's adjacent to the walls we've already been to. And that made any sense whatsoever. So, I usually don't concern myself with initial shortcut checks, as you may have seen me do in the series. This one goes this way. As we find the origin point, we're going to replace that arrow. Pardon me a second. Now we go over here, and this one will go this way. Goes right, walls all the way through, ends here, we're in, this is also very good, the stratum is also very good about keeping symmetry, it looks like this was the start of this conveyor belt, 
So that's an important factor in helping you map it out. Two gold gels. Okay. Going to swing attacks on left, get an evil eye out, and a fire shot on right. Both shots uh, are resisted. That's that's good to know, I guess. Fire shot missed. Keep doing this. Suicide that. And fire shot again. Yes, they have an agility lowering attack. They, they use it every so often. I think the other one was terrified before he could use it or something like that. Uh, finish that off, get another suicide over here, and then we should be good to go. This is kind of a slower method of killing them, but it works just the same. Evil Eye Suicide does take a good chunk out of their health, and it is very good for stalling them out without them hurting you back. Uh, because this is late game, welcome to late game by the way, Fitzradam marks the beginning of late game. Uh, welcome to the late game? <laughs> Status condition attacks like Torpor and Evil Eye are becoming slightly less effective, but they are still very effective. Um, having a luck up item on your Hexers will make it more likely for you to land your shots in this stratum, so I highly recommend some luck beads or fate beads on your Hexers. Though not completely necessary, it does help the chances of Torpor, Evil Eye, and the likes a lot, but poison should be fine. Poison should still be landing almost all the time. Uh, Pretty much 95% of the time. So, don't worry too much about po poison if you're using poison. Now, there's no way to tell which way these bears are going. And we have another conveyor over here, which leads this way. Alright. So, now that we have choices and we have no idea which direction any of these conveyor belts go, we have to take a risk. This one leads this way. Let's go this way first, then. Now, my memory escapes me since the last time I played this random was July, which is about five months ago. <laughs> uh, so, okay, Stra FOEs, hmm. Okay, kind of recall this now. We do have seem to have an exit to our right, which leads back into this hallway in case we- Oops, I'm mapping this wrong terribly. Uh, we do have an exit here, apparently, so this will either take us back to start or, uh, not take us back to start. Let's see. Since I'm not too eager to mess with the FOE at the moment, let's try, uh, doing this. Since this obviously needs right. And this goes down. Alright, so the other conveyor belt probably leads up. Would surprise no one. So let's... Get this map filled in. And go back and deal with that FOE now. Or potentially hang around here to see if there's any treasure rooms in our interest to get. Double gold Dale set again. I'm going to do the same strategy I used last time. See you guys in a second. Now if Anna ever decides to get hit, she'll start using revenge instead of evil eye suicide. But until that happens, we're going to be spamming evil eye suicide. Okay, so this isn't all the way through. This is not thorough. But both of these have to lead the same direction. It also means that this wall isn't actually there. It, this stratum is extremely hard to see corners of walls. So you have to kind of be careful when you're mapping, because you could easily mismap it and completely miss something. I'm going to try my best, but of course if I accidentally do it, I do want to be called on it. So just keep that in mind. If you see me mess up a map, make a mapping mistake... Kind of wait until the end of the episode. If I don't solve it by the end of the episode, you're gonna have one probably want to tell me. So this one looks like it leads back towards me. It does. So we can't enter there yet. You can see a little bit inside it. Uh, looks like it's three in and one over. And pop, pop has to have a wall there. Let's see what's over here. Now it's because of the symmetry, I knew it was going to turn in. Got a 3x3. Three three. This looks like it leads back to the entrance, I want to say. It does. It's, it seems like a more direct way to reach the entrance, if anything. As that will lead right there. And there doesn't seem to be anything else in this room. So unless I do a sh small shortcut check, there's no real way of telling if this is actually any good or not. Now, this room's completely useless. Alright, it's back to start. 
Okay, wood bats. Wood bats are very basic enemies that don't require too much to kill. Uh, they're very easy to kill themselves and uh, don't take too much effort. So this should like do it pretty much. Wood bats can poison. Have more than 350 HP. It's fine. Easy enough. Jason grew level 50. There is something I can welcome. Jason, what are you working on? You are working... Oh, we have two levels. Ugh, I don't think I leveled everyone up last time. That would have been a mistake. Um, well... We're still here. Get levels on arm shot because there's conditionals coming up soon that need that. Anna, you are working on revenge. Finally maxing it. We start working on HP up soon. And Gandra, you are working on twist the agility up. Yes? Fine, right, yes. Linda grew to level 50, and we're about to continue exploration, so hang on. Linda, you're getting unbind to high, higher levels. Yes, where is it? Making our way to freedom. Let's go ahead and get some cures in here. And let's go this way. FOE doesn't seem to be present at the moment. Well, I'm pretty sure he'll be around, but he's not around here, so... Okay, that was a mistake. Yes, uh, meet the, uh, the death man. He's probably going to kill us. Um, mm hmm I have my doubts about our success, but I'm going to try. Anik was just instantly slaughtered. Not good. I was kind of accept, uh, expecting him to attack front row, that's why I'm using bait. Could we get a ricochet? Yeah. 75. And is killed. Bait activates. Bait activates the second time. Bait activates the third time. Ricochet. Climax? Climax. That was weird. That was awkward. <laughs> I completely forgot the FOE's rotation, so um, I thought he was going the other way. That was a mistake. Let's get a nectar here and just kind of shake this off. It's the only nectar I have, so the next time this happens, be quite a pickle. Get some cures around. Except for Anna, of course. Now she can start pumping revenge into everything. Let's get some Amritas a little bit everywhere. Linda could use two of them. Eric can use one of them. Jason could use another. Okay. We good on everyone? We good on everyone. Okay. So now that we've uh, already encountered the FOE and slaughtered it, uh, let's just continue, shall we? Uh, that might... Yeah. Mm. I knew we had a party physical attack. That's why I kept spamming bait. And I'm glad I spammed bait, because I don't think we could we would have won that fight if I didn't start spamming bait. A uh, large box. Yes, I would like it. It is 10,000. That's more than... That's going to make up for all the Amritas I just used. Not much else. Um... Anything? Nope. Not really. So there's so much for exploring the entire floor in one go. That just shot my Amrita supply. But, uh, we'll make it. We'll be fine. Uh... We can walk around the entire circle, so that will reveal the FOE's path. That would be a smart idea. It would also be a smart idea to map this correctly. And like so. And this goes... This is a wall that's been hugging. And if I walk here... Okay, we've mapped... We've walked everywhere the FOE can possibly walk. So it's time to move on south. Hopefully without having to kill more FOEs. Though I'm not too against it. With that, uh... Viper normal attack? Revenge... And attack. Normal attack miss. I wanted to try it. Didn't work. It's okay. Get some heals around. 
Gantry didn't need that. Okay. Going south. Plugging this wall. It's the only way we can possibly go. This is too wide up to this point. That wall is missing for no good reason. I don't, there shouldn't be any shortcuts leading outside this area. Like, there's not going to be a shortcut on this wall. Unless there is, in which case I better check. No, there's no shortcuts on this wall, so I don't think we're going to be in the lowest, the F segment at all, nor the A or B ones. I wouldn't worry about shortcuts going into them. Uh, meet the Nightmare. Nightmare doesn't have a conditional. It's fast, it's furious, it's... Does a lot of damage, it's not too bad. We sh if I think Viper Tornado should just clear it, if not Revenge and Snipe can just follow suit. Poisoned... Dead. Okay, see, not that bad. Got its black hoof. And this hat this can only possibly lead one direction since we've deaded it we've already covered all the dead ends. Okay. It looks like we're getting closer to the end of the floor actually already. This isn't a big floor, as I may have already mentioned. It's actually very small. Uh just this is the southern end of the ship. We're not going to go any farther south than that. Uh this looks like it leads up. Go ahead. I have time to explore everywhere, so if even if this isn't the most efficient way. Well, it looks like we're okay here. That leads back that way, because we tried to walk on that previously. That's not filled in. Now all we have to do is see if this leads either towards me or away from me. I may want to be careful if I do this though. Okay, no, at least this way. So I'm going to cut out the walk back, unless there's a new set, so uh, see you guys in a second. I remember there being intercoms um, scattered around the fifth stratum that said very obscure and strange things. I would love to run into all of them. So, like, if I missed them along the way, don't tell me where they all are instantly, but if I miss one along the way, you may, I really would like to show those off, so if you know where the intercom messages are, that would be great. Those of you who don't know what the intercom messages are yet, well, chill out, maybe if I find one, we'll, you can figure it out for yourself, but sometimes a check will come up and an event slash in intercom will come up and tell us a strange story about the past of this place. That's how I see it, uh... Okay. Now this doesn't go all the way through. There was like a halfway point where there was not a wall. Otherwise, I think we were fine. Now we're on a symmetrical side. This leads there. Don't know which direction I should go. We have a few options. This one leads into some place entirely different. And this play doesn't look like it's an option. Okay, let's try this way. Nope. Okay, blocked. Uh, so it's probably four long if the other one... No, the other one's only three long. So this one's probably only three long as well. And it goes this way. Okay. Got an up here, I think. Yes, okay. And one of the big rooms connects to this room adjacent to it. Triple Mandrake set for the lose. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. This can't possibly go wrong. Can we get a... No. Can we get a Kadoshis? A Viper. A Tornado. A Fire... A Revenge and a Fire Shot. I just pulled out all the guns, okay? I... Yeah. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to go, so I just used all of them. Uh, don't know which direction that goes yet. This is a very big room. Does this go this way? Yes, it does. Probably a mistake. Maybe not. Find out soon. Maybe we can get to the shortcut of this floor and then just make exploring, getting back to the staircase easier. Even if I achieve just that, that'll be fine. This might just lead backwards. It does. 
Okay, so now that we know where all of these go, revisit this room real quick. Uh, scope around, see what's available. That, it more than likely leads outward. That leads back to where we've already been. Okay, so everything's coming together. Let's go this way and unlock the shortcuts to get out of here. Now, FOE is not going to be a problem, because this time I know exactly which way he's going. I'm not going to follow him. I could just hot shot him and do whatever on Earth I want, but following him is just more fun. He shouldn't see us. If he does, we'll have time to notice, because he's a good, decent chunk ahead of us. That leads back down there. This is in guess, I guess, in case we get pinned by FOEs. Got an FOE that's aggressive. So there must be two FOEs in this circle. And we have a fight. Preemptive strike. This is the least threatening thing I've had so far. Oh, nope. Use revenge, Einstein. That should do it just fine. Indeed, didn't have to waste DP. Yeah, that leads all the way to the end. The FOEs probably remain in the tight circle. So we'll stay in the tight circle as well. Okay, it ends here. This should be the way out. It's one way up. Should be. I think I'm going to complete the loop. I'm going to complete the loops to see where the FOEs are going at all times. Because I'm super OCD about things like that. Put that in. Out of one loop, get right into another. Okay. The exit should be directly north from us. Question is which direction is directly north of us. Okay. This leads a direction probably exiting. And this leads probably entering. So let's see which way this way this one wants to go. Yes, and this is it. I think you've already checked that wall. The stairs are right over there. Would suck if we died here. And one and two. We're gonna go up the stairs to reset the encounter rate and encounter the 22nd floor. We're not going to do anything on it though. Just in set, reset the encounter rate. Serpent's narrow path. We're gonna be doing this next time as you explore the wondrous castle. Okay, I guess we can have time for this. In the heavens, a mysterious voice sounds again. Those who have fallen to earth, what are your feelings? The dispensation of. Yes, dispensation. Dispensation of nature. Question perplexes you, but has the mysterious voice is not finished speaking. This been th that word is just long. I know what it means, but it's just, honestly, the dis it's like a dispenser. Seriously, of nature is death. Of course, those who live will, uh, will only yes, those who live will one day die. It is inexorable, um, inevitable. I guess that means <sighs> long words. Uh, in the description, two long words at least. Uh, what if you could defy it, however, thereby overthrowing death itself? I have researched the problem for deaths for many aeons. You shall be put to good use. The greater one's vitality, the more effective the sacrifice. The mysterious voice falls silent once again. You have no choice but to press onward. Pretty... Yeah, pretty ominous, I, I do say so myself. I t it almost feels like we're being treated as guinea pigs. So, back down we go. We should find a shortcut on the northern side that'll allow easy access. Like right here. Okay, now that we have easy access, exploring the rest of this floor does not seem like a hassle if I have to go backwards. So let's go. Let's move around, see directions we can go in. Alright, this... Well, this also makes it very easy to get from place to place within this floor, so... Two pluses for getting this shortcut. Uh, this leads down, of course. Glad we went left first to reset the encounter rate. Otherwise, we could have 
been in quite some trouble. This must go right. It's only went into this 3x3. Three three. Or 2x... This isn't even a 3x3. Three three. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now that the obvious has been cleared, we have only a few small little areas to cover. We have maybe two revenges worth of left. We have 44 TP. Revenge cost 19. We're not going to be able to sustain it. Uh, learn that these FOEs are aggressive, and that the map is symmetrical, so this should be like a straight line almost all the way up. Now, which way is this one going? Oh, okay, he's following the wall that way. Okay, now that we know that, let's just swiftly map this. Now there's... Oh, okay, the F, there's two FOEs in this circle. Cunning. Very cunning. So let's do the same thing we did last time, and just kind of follow them on the direction they move. Going ins and out. This is slightly different, but not much. You have a yellow going this way. In case I have this, goes that way. We have a treasure chest here. And some more yellows here. And this one leads up, that one leads right. Let's finish this loop, grab the treasure chest. It's probably around the corner from here. There's something like this. No, there's an item point here. Can we get a hollow shot? Okay, you are a chop point. There was probably a chop point in another one of the places that I just completely walked by without noticing. Uh, probably. Don't, not completely sure. I'm going to check on a lot of this stuff towards the end of the episode, which is actually really soon. Blindsided. Impress me. Eh, kind of impressive. Not really. Do that on the other guy. The horse is a little slow. Now, I don't know how these guys are going to act when they reanimate. So I'm just going to hotshot them continuously. Make sure they don't get in my way. This leads over there. Take this. End up here. Nothing here. And this is a... Opata. Sounds like a sword. That's not a sword user. 111 instead of volts is dab. I'll take it. Volt seems to be a useless element here anyway. Uh, let's go down. Up. Oh, down. Okay, that's gonna take us down. I'm going to explore a little bit more. And I'll check with you guys if I have any updates. Okay, I was able to kill Mandrake with fire. Let's see if I got his item. I did. Okay. Pretty cool. Kill it with fire. Good job. Now, uh, my suspicion... Is, yes, there is an intercom here. Uh, this is interesting. I'm just gonna let you guys read it. I'm just gonna shut up.
Very strange, isn't it? You're allowed to speculate on that as much as you want. And once we probably listen to enough of them, we can probably formulate an actual theory. So, let's go ahead and go to town and rest up at the inn. So hey there everyone, this has been Life Freak. Tom uh, tomorrow we're going to, to probably start exploration of the 22nd floor. Maybe do some quests. Maybe something else. Who knows? But until then, I'm going to see you guys then. Bye.